Hey everyone, uh, this is Shakila Ahmad, uh, a levels biology teacher and today I have come up with a worksheet on paper 1, the MCQs. Usually the MCQs in the ACE examination, which is the paper 1, is usually challenging. It completely checks the concept of a student, if a student has got the clear concept of the things that he has studied in the class. So let's start with this uh, worksheet that I am showing on my screen. So which group of structures are visible in suitably stained plant cell using a high power means 400 power light microscope. We know that centrioles, uh, first of all we must know why. what are the structures that can be seen under a light microscope. Light microscope has a resolution of 200 nanometers. That means anything that has the size greater than 200 nanometers can be seen under a light microscope. And the structures that have the size less than 200 nanometers will not be uh, seen. They have written the power over here. Power is just for the magnification. It doesn't change the resolution of the microscope. So centrioles are too small, they cannot be seen with the help of the microscope. The chromosomes cannot be seen with the help of microscope. Yes, mitochondria, each mitochondria has a diameter of around uh, 100 micrometers, which means 1000 nanometers. Yeah, it can be seen and starch grains are quite big, so these can be seen. So we can say that D is the correct answer. Moving to question number two, what are always present in prokaryote cells? Capsule is present in some slime capsules, what we call is some of the bacteria, not all the bacteria. The uh, question asking here is always. Flagella are present in some bacteria, not all the bacteria. Ply, the structures which the bacteria use to get attached to some structures are not present in all bacteria. Yeah, ribosomes, we know the prokaryotes, they contain the 70s ribosomes. These are present in all bacteria. Uh, what we mean by prokaryotes. Moving to question number three. The following are all features of eukaryotic cells. So eukaryotic cells, some eukaryotic cells contain chloroplasts, and plasmid is present in all. Lysosomes are present in almost all mitochondria and nucleus. Which of these have a double membrane? There are only three cell organelles that have got a double membrane around them. One of them is the chloroplast. The other is the mitochondria and the third one is the nucleus we already know the nucleus has a nuclear pole so and nuclear poles are formed between the two nuclear membranes the chloroplast has the double membrane covering because it also produces the proton gradient between the cement the mitochondria has the outer membrane and the inner membrane thrown into the cristi so it is one four and five so that means the c is the correct answer question number four the magnification of the photomicrograph is 4000 times what's the actual size of the nucleolus so first of all we have to see where is the nucleolus present these are the chloroplasts this is the vacuole i can see this is the nucleus and nucleolus is present inside the nucleus so we measure the length of this nucleolus with the help of the scale that will be the image so if we measure image in millimeters, we'll change it into micrometers by multiplying by 1000. Then magnification is already given, which is 4000. So we have to find the actual size. The actual size will be uh, image over magnification. So whatever we calculate over here, we divide that by magnification. So we will get the answer for this question number four. Question number five, a microscope has a resolution of 200 nanometers, which are the following organelles would not be resolved using microscope. Resolved means which cannot be seen. So 200 nanometers, we can see the chloroplasts are quite big, lysosomes are big and mitochondria are quite big. It's just the ribosomes because we know the ribosomes have either the 80s size or the 70s size. So these are quite small to be seen under a light microscope. So D is the correct answer. Now question number six is tests were performed on samples from a mixture of biological molecules. When iodine in potassium iodide solution was added to a sample, the mixture turned black. When the biuret test was carried out on another sample, the mixture turned purple. Turning black means it's a positive test for starch and turning purple is a positive test for the protein. Which biological molecules were present in the mixture? So cellulose and starch is wrong because cellulose is actually a carbohydrate, uh, what we call the uh, uh, we have monosaccharide, polysaccharide. 
and phospholipids and cellulose the phospholipids or the lipid cellulose as we discussed starch and the phospholipid it is amylase which is an enzyme and starch enzymes are the proteins and the starch a is the correct answer which size range can be viewed using a light microscope as we discussed earlier a light microscope can see anything that has the size greater than 200 nanometers so if it is 100 nanometers still here one micrometer means 1000 nanometers and 100 micrometers so that means the three and four can be seen under light microscope but not one and two question number eight the diagram shows a mitochondria drawn from an electron micrograph the length of the mitochondria from x to y is 3000 nanometers for the magnification of the drawing of the mitochondria so same thing as we discussed earlier we will measure the length that will be the image if we measure it in millimeter we will multiply it by 1000 to change into micrometers then uh, they have already given us uh, we will change it in the nanometers as well so we'll multiply it by 1000 more because the actual size is given in nanometers 3000 nanometers so magnification will be image over actual so whatever we get over here divided by 3000 we will get the magnification the diagram shows a stage micrometer with division 0.1 mm apart built through an eyepiece containing a graticule. What is the area of the field of the microscope at this magnification? Pi is 3.14. So first of all, we must know that the eyepiece graticule over here, we have to calibrate it. We have to find the calibration, the equation. Means we'll see how many eyepiece graticules are equal to one millimeter the stage micrometer as they have given us it has the division is 0.1 mm apart so this is 0.1 mm apart this is 0.1 so if we look from here to here 90 minus 50 means 40 so 40 ips graticule units are equal to 0.1 nanometer millimeter sorry so we can see the radius of the circle is the 50 ips graticule units so we'll see how many millimeters is 50 ips graticule units so it is 50 into 0 0.1 divided by 40 so we divide so 5 divided by 4 will be uh, 1.25 into 0 0.1 that is 125 so decimal will move 3 plus 1 it will be 0 0.125 millimeters sorry uh, micrometers so 0 0.125 micrometers we will multiply it by uh, sorry it is millimeters we are changing millimeter by 1000 to change to micrometer so decimal will move 3 plus 1 to 3 so it is 125 micrometers the area is always pi or square so pi will be there so radius we found 125 micrometers that is c is the correct answer then question number 10 which organelles are required for the formation of the hydrolytic enzymes found in lysosomes so enzyme means the protein synthesis we have to see uh, uh, select all those structures which are involved in the protein synthesis we know that rough endoplasmic reticulum yes it's involved in the protein synthesis golgi bodies they are used in the packaging of the molecules mitochondria because protein synthesis is an active uh, it, it needs uh, energy yeah they are involved that means a is the correct answer because a will be including rough endoplasmic and golgi bodies and as well as the mitochondria Okay, this is the part first of this worksheet. Let's continue with the second part. In